Tom Cruise completes a deadly stunt in his cinema history, Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise is willing to do anything for the movie, so his action scenes always surprise people. But in the seventh movie in the Mission Impossible series, the actor has made his adventure even better. The actor did the most dangerous stunt scene ever put on film in Hollywood. In the scene, a person rides a bike over rocks and then jumps down 80 feet. The Mission Impossible crew has shared a video of how this dangerous stunt scene was made. Tom Cruise and his crew shot the stunt scenes in Norway. Before this, the actor had done about 500 skydives and 13,000 motocross jumps. Fans are shocked to see a video of how the movie is made. It's not a secret that Tom Cruise loves thrills. Apparently, the man is willing to try anything. It would not be a Tom Cruise movie without a dangerous stunt, but this is especially true of the Mission Impossible film series. In point of fact, Tom Cruise will be trying the biggest stunt in cinema history for the upcoming installment of Mission Impossible titled Dead Reckoning Part 1. It would be appropriate to build up to this. Let's just consider the incredible accomplishments that Cruise has already accomplished. In Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, he scaled the side of the Burj Khalifa. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, he clung onto the side of a plane. Additionally, he leapt between buildings while filming Mission Impossible Fallout, which actually resulted in the actor breaking his foot. Long-running action spy franchise Mission Impossible follows the exploits of Impossible Mission Force agent Ethan Hunt as he faces numerous dangers and overcomes seemingly insurmountable obstacles throughout the course of the series. According to Screen Rant, the film franchise was launched in 1996 and has already given birth to six films, with two more on the way. The TV series of the same name, which was created by Bruce Geller, served as the inspiration for the film franchise. Although the Mission Impossible film series is famous for its ensemble cast, Tom Cruise's portrayal of Ethan Hunt is the only character who has appeared in each and every one of the movies in the series. The fact that Tom Cruise insists on performing many of his own stunts is a significant contributor to the phenomenal quality of the Mission Impossible films. In films ranging from Mission Impossible to Top Gun, in which he starred as a lead character, Tom Cruise was known for his ability to pull off a variety of dangerous stunts, some of which other actors would never attempt. Although Tom Cruise has appeared in a number of action films in which he has performed stunts of varying degrees of difficulty, the stunts that he has performed in the Mission Impossible franchise are among his most dangerous. The following is a ranking of the best Mission Impossible stunts that Tom Cruise has performed, in the series. In the movie Mission Impossible Fallout, when Ethan Hunt takes control of a helicopter, he engages in a high-speed helicopter chase through the Southern Alps of New Zealand. It is possible that this was one of the riskiest stunts that Tom Cruise has ever performed, despite the fact that he has a great deal of experience in the field. This is because he had to maintain a high level of focus in order to fly with precision and speed, while still staying in the character and for the movie. Even though this is not Tom Cruise's first stunt in the air, it is without a doubt the most daring one he has ever performed in the sky. According to Variety, the shots of the chase were long takes, and in true Mission Impossible fashion, the scene was filmed without any special effects being visible at any point. The knife to the eye scene from Mission Impossible 2 is widely considered to be the most memorable and recognizable stunt from the entire Mission Impossible film series. Although this stunt could have been easily faked, with computer-generated imagery CGI, the decision to perform it in real life was a brave one that undoubtedly paid off in the end. During the knife fight scene between Tom Cruise and his co-star Doug Ray Scott, the sharp point of the knife was brought closer and closer to Cruise's naked eye with the help of a measuring cable. Finally, it was only a quarter of an inch away from Cruise's eye. Even though the scope of this stunt was relatively modest in comparison to many others, the fact that even the slightest hesitation of error on Cruz's part while performing the stunt could have resulted in the loss of his eye is a significant part of what makes this stunt so incredible. Tom Cruise's performance in Rogue Nation included an action sequence set underwater. During this time, Cruz did not breathe for a cumulative total of 6 minutes and 50 seconds. In order for Cruz to consume less oxygen, Specialists were brought in to assist him in developing the ability to slow down his heart rate through training. Cruz acknowledged that despite the epic nature of this stunt, it was not without its discomforts because the training had conditioned him to breathe significantly less than before. When he was at rest and not engaged in any kind of physical activity, Cruz had to consciously prompt himself to breathe. 
This stunt comes in at number 3 on the list because despite how easy it might look on the big screen, it takes a lot of dedication and practice to be able to hold your breath for more than 6 minutes. What better addition could there be to this action-packed franchise than the Burj Khalifa, which is known as the tallest building in the world? The decision to carry out this extremely risky stunt in real life was undoubtedly a gamble, despite the fact that it was possible to fake the results of this stunt using computer graphics. Even though the shoot for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol was difficult, the production team was able to capture Tom Cruise scaling the Burj Khalifa running along the side of the building and crashing through a window of the building. Of course, this stunt was certainly successful. Before attempting one of the most impressive stunts of all time, Tom Cruise consulted with dozens of stuntmen and other professionals and did not receive any physical assistance from anyone else. This made the difficulty level of the stunt way higher. Even more impressively, he even more impressively, he posed for a photograph at the very peak of the structure unrestrained by any harnesses or wires of any kind. Fans of Tom Cruise have been given a sneak peek of the most perilous stunt he has ever performed, which will be featured in the upcoming film Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. In order to pull off the stunt, Tom Cruise will ride a motorcycle off the edge of a ramp that is situated on top of a cliff. This will launch him into the air and he will then use a parachute to land safely. There has been no slate of hand with a camera here. This was all something that Cruz did live while cameras were positioned in helicopters to capture the ridiculous feat that he was performing. The stunt was actually filmed in Hellesilt, Norway in September 2020. This is good news because it means that we know Cruz did the stunt and was fine. The actor claimed that preparations for the stunt had been going on for years and that it was something he had wanted to do ever since he was a little kid. To get his body ready for the stunt, Tom Cruise would jump out of a helicopter in a nonchalant manner as one would normally do. As one of the stunt coordinators pointed out in order to avoid dying, Tom Cruise needed to make sure that he didn't fall off the ramp or get tangled up in the bike during his free fall, and he also needed to make sure that he opened his parachute correctly. Even more bizarre is the fact that in order to get the shot he wanted, Tom Cruise ended up performing the stunt a total of six times. Even more terrifying surprises are reportedly in store for Mission 8, according to the film's director Christopher McQuarrie. The title Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning refers to the seventh film in the Mission Impossible film series. In the year 2023, the first segment of the film will be released in theaters. It has come to light that the second part will not be published until the year 2024. This is the third film in the Mission Impossible franchise that Christopher McQuarrie has directed following Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Mission Impossible Fallout. Tom Cruise has played the lead role in every movie of the Mission Impossible film franchise since the first movie in the series was released in 1996. After the phenomenal success of Tom Cruise's Top Gun Maverick, for which Cruise also performed his own death-defying stunts, there is no denying that the hype for both Mission Impossible 7 and 8 will now grow even stronger. The fact that Tom Cruise's latest film, Maverick, broke box office records for him is evidence that the actor is still a huge draw for moviegoers, which makes the timing of the next two chapters in the Mission Impossible franchise extremely ideal. If this is indeed Tom Cruise's last performance as Ethan Hunt, then the action sequences in Mission Impossible 8 are shaping up to be the ideal send-off for his time spent working on the Mission Impossible franchise. Cruise is known for consistently pushing the envelope with each new film in the series. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out these other videos.